Well, hello one and all. Welcome to Seen Through Glass. I'm aware that I've been pretty quiet on here recently. It's been a strange and, and pretty tough time. But I think 2024 is going to be a big year for this channel, so subscribe now, stay tuned, etc. Uh, but today, I want to talk to you about this. My dad's Land Rover Defender. This car has actually appeared on the channel before, some, uh, some eight years ago, when I was still filming things purely point of view. Uh, but it's been in the family for, I guess, around 20 years. At one point, this was, this was kind of my car. I was using it as a band van back when I was in a rock and roll band. I used to use it to transport with the guitar amps and drum kits to various gig venues around the UK. It was, it was kind of amazing because if you've ever spent time with this era of Defender, you'll know, well, firstly, they're terrifying to drive on the motorway, so long distance trips in this thing was interesting. But also to coin a Doug DeMuro phrase, they're full of quirks, full of character and personality. For example, this car, uh, well, none of us can ever start it. My dad is the only person who's ever been able to bring this vehicle to life. All of us sit here turning the key, pumping the throttle. Ah, it's always so embarrassing. Dad comes out and just somehow something in his silky hands finesses it into life. And I'm always like, oh, God's sake. Because my dad's never been a petrol head, you know. Never really been into his cars. When I started seeing through glass, he started to pay attention a little bit more. Admired some of the cars I'd bring home at the weekend, things like that. He actually loved the 911 GT3 when I brought it home at the start of the year. He was like, maybe I should get a Porsche. But for some reason, he always loved this thing and he always understood this thing. I have so many visceral memories of doing just sort of point pointless errands with my dad in this car. Going to get sausage rolls from the bakers, going on walks with the dogs, seeing him go out on missions on a Saturday morning. He worked so hard, my dad, you would think when it came to the weekend, he'd want to just put his feet up and not do anything, but he was a borderline workaholic and couldn't ever really sit still. So yeah, I just, I remember being a lazy teenager watching TV and then hearing this thing start up, rumble down the driveway and seeing him, this big winter coat driving off. So I actually feel like a bit of a fraud sitting here now. I'm kind of trying to imitate him, but it's also a very nice feeling. Funny cars, aren't they? Because whether you're into them or not, they can hold so many memories, especially if you keep hold of them for a while. 20 odd years, a long time to have a car. And so whilst this thing hasn't been regularly used, I can kind of remember almost every time that we have used it, or, or at least it just paints such a clear picture for me of younger years and, and times with my dad times as a family. I remember one year we were going down to Cornwall, I think it was around Christmas, and we were going to take his Range Rover, which he had at the time, but it had a, a flat tyre or at least a slow puncture. But it was Boxing Day, all the garages were closed, so we said Let, let's just go and try and put some air in it and see what happens. But whilst my dad was incredible at many things in life, in his later years, manual labour wasn't one of his strong suits. And so watching him try to put air in the tyre of a Range Rover was one of the funniest things we've ever seen. And he got so stressed and angry about it all, he managed to snap the valve. And so yeah, just, we had no hope in hell of taking that car, I had to leave it at a petrol station from my memory. And so we decided to take this, the Defender, all the way down to Cornwall. It must have been a 500 mile round trip. And it was just me and him that were brave enough to sit in here. I can't actually remember how my mum and my sister got there. I guess maybe they went in my sister's car or my mum's car. I don't think it's a good train. But anyway, there we were, bumbling along with some pretty tinny speakers. Just having a, having a funny old time. Like I mentioned earlier, the quirks of this thing, the windscreen wipers don't always work. It fogs up. Rainwater leaks in this door very easily. There's rattles, bits fall off. But if you ever insulted this car to my dad, he'd be furious. My sister was the first person to slag this thing off. And it used to really upset him. He just had so much pride in joy in this car. So much so that about six or seven years ago, he decided to start restoring it. I don't think it ever needed restoration, but he wanted to give it a new lease of life. So he painted it and sealed the underside. He did some good stuff initially. Then he got a bit carried away or potentially even scammed because he would call me up and tell, you know, the defender's going back in the shop. I'm very excited. So what are you doing, Daddy? Because replacing all the bolts. Uh, which I thought, fair enough. It was the, the 
the ultimate project guy. He was never finished. Just always wanted to keep doing things. I mean, these seat covers are just bizarre, but he decided he really wanted to protect the original seats. Not as an investment. He never thought of this thing as an investment, even though it's kind of become one. It's only got 30 odd thousand miles on the clock, this car. It's in pretty good nick, considering all the work he did to it. But yeah, he just adored it. And so, whilst he was never a petrol head, and whilst I fully am, his love for this thing, well, it's, it's another bond that we have. It's something that I can really connect with him on. I can really understand him on. I've been so close to my dad all my life, and that's been amazing. But to have this one extra thing that really feels like me and him, it's very special. And I'm so glad that cars can still do that because we're in a new era, a new dawn for, for cars, and we don't all know what the future holds. But simple things like this, bloody old Defender, which let's face it, well, isn't the world's most special vehicle. It is so special to me. Been so special to my dad. That's all I really wanted to say. It's a way to wrap up the year and share a story with you because if you watch this channel regularly, you know it's all about the stories. And this thing has a pretty special story that means every time I get in it, every time I see it, I think of my dad. That's a good thing. So, as I said, stay tuned. 2024, it's going to be a good year. It's going to start in a pretty big way. But I'm going to continue to enjoy the sunshine. I'm not quite sure when I'll stop driving this thing, but today, I think I'll drive it for a little bit longer.